Hello and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your drop link on this Renault Captor. So first what you need to do is remove these 17 um, mil um, bolts. So it's going to be a 17 mil socket. I've already removed the locking wheel now. We need to remove the wheel first. So now we're going to need a V6 Allen key and also 18 mil ratchet spanner. As you can see, I've literally just lodged it there so it doesn't move. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get another spanner, just to slot on that one, just to crack the nut. You can see. And then you're gonna just hold both of them together and loosen it. As you can see, that one's now off. I need to get that one in there. That one's a bit more tricky. But I'm gonna try and just use the 80 mil ratchet spine. I'll see if I'll be able to just take that off. I'm gonna have to put another spanner on there so you can see the subframe bits in the way. Just gotta be careful. And not to cut your hand on that bit there. So as you can see, I put the spanner around the other side. As you can see, and I've actually put another spanner on there just to give me extra leverage, just to pull it down. As you can see, so I've already I've cracked that nut. As you can see, and I'll see if we can get it off without having the whole thing spinning around. So just the spanner. Literally, if it doesn't want to come off, you will have to get the V6 Allen key to put in there. So you can see what's in that hole there. You can see on the back of this one. As you can see, there's not a lot of space there, so you'd have to use a short one. Otherwise, you can just put a spanner around this bit. So literally, you just get a 21 mil spanner just to hold that in place. As you can see, and just get your 18 mil spanner, ratchet spanner, just to take that off. So you're gonna have to hold this one and use the ratchet spanner to rotate that one. So as you can see, one spanner on that bit and one on there, you need to hold both of them. Obviously, I've got to use both my hands to take it off. So, I won't be able to show you that bit, but you literally got to hold this one there and rotate that one, take it off so it doesn't spin around. As you can see, that's not off. So, we're literally just going to pull that one out. Pull this one out as well. As you can see. As you can see, this is the reason why we're changing this one. As you can see, look. It's completely warm. As you can see, that sounds hard. As you can see, we've got the new one refitted. Let's literally just slot it in and there, and then into that one. Like so. Catch them up. As you can see, you have to use a 21 spanner to hold that there and tighten it up with an 18 down there as well. Obviously, these are genuine ones, so I don't, it might vary for aftermarket ones. Thanks for watching Gab Official. Please like, share, and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed, keep on rolling. Boom.